When you're playing badminton, you're too slow on the court. Well, that's probably because you eat too much or too little. Who cares? Something to do with the diet. Today, we're going to show the five ways that you can beat your opponent, even if you're slower than your opponent. First, we need to identify what advantage a faster opponent has over you. They're able to cover the more of the court than you. How do we equalize the playing field? We have to move less. So how do we move less? You'll see that the court is actually quite small. I can take one step in every direction, pretty much, right? And it covers the court. Now, when does the court get bigger? Let's say if I were to move all the way back to this corner, and then I had to run all the way to that front corner. The court just got three times bigger. As a slower player, you have to imagine, how can I move as little as possible, right? How can I be just taking one step in every direction? Well, what you're gonna do here is predict your opponent's shots. Let me give you an example. Let's say if I predicted my opponent's shot, I could shift my weight a little bit forward or even shift my whole body a little bit forward in this direction, assuming they'll hit over here. And by the time they'll hit over here, all I have to do is reach out my arm. So what you're doing is minimizing your movement by being there ahead of time. The second thing we're gonna do is to control the rhythm of the gameplay. There's a few ways to do this. First of all, starting with our service, whether you're serving low or you're serving high. The thing about controlling rhythm is elongating the period of time that the bird is traveling so you have time to come back and get more ready. So it doesn't matter how fast your opponent is moving in position. If I were to serve the bird really flat and short, a really fast opponent could jump really quick, jump up, boom, and smash. But if I were to serve as high as possible all the way to the back, it doesn't matter how fast my opponent is. You could go to the back really fast, and then he's over there waiting for the shuttle. So you just diluted his speed, making him wait taking away his biggest strengths. So the third thing you need to be doing is shot quality and accuracy. If you have a really fast opponent, he's gonna be covering the court really quickly. So if you're barely making him move, you're just speeding him up as much as possible. We need to make sure we play to all of the corners because it doesn't matter how fast you are. There's actually a limit to how far you can reach. Let's say to my front, even I'm super fast, one, two, three. I'm not going to be touching the net, right? No matter how fast they move, they're never gonna be moving perfectly to every edge of the court. So if you're able to play shots close enough to the edges, they'll still have to wait, giving you more time to hit. Now, fourth way to beat opponents faster than you is through deception. If your opponent is moving particularly fast, you want to make sure you get them to move first. For example, let's say I pretend I'm going to hit this net shot right here. The opponent sees that and they want to move fast. That's their strength. Boom! They're already pushing off in that direction once they see that shot. You, with a little hold, boom, hit it to the back after. So now their momentum is forward. Of course, if they're good enough, they can still adjust, but that slows them down because their momentum is one direction and they have to come back and change their momentum to another direction. Now the last point is super useful and that's gonna be serve and receive. So the serve, the receive, and one. So serve and receive. I'm pretty much forcing my opponent to hit what shot I want. So I'll serve and I'll stand there already waiting for the point. For example, let's say I'm going to serve a very flat shot to their backhand, okay? So they're receiving a flat shot to me. They're going to want to be pushing to my backhand. So after the serve, boom, I'm just gonna raise my rack here. And as they hit to me, boom, cross court, I'm done. Or I'm serving all the way to their far forehand. From their far forehand, they're going to want to push straight. And from there, I just wait here. So serve far forehand, boom, pop, done, easy. So remember, it's not about how much steak you eat or how much steak you're not eating. It's important that you watch this video because now you're better than your opponent. Unless your opponent also watches this video, then you gotta watch more videos. You can check some out here.